Genesis chapter 24. Now Abraham was old, well advanced in age, and Yahweh blessed Abraham in every way. So Abraham said to the chief servant of his house, who ruled over all that he had, Put your hand under my thigh, and I will want you to vow by Yahweh, creator of heaven and of the earth, that you will not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I live in the midst of. But you shall go to my country and to my kindred and take a wife for my son Isaac. And the servant asked him, What if the woman will not be willing to follow me to this land? Shall I take your son back to the land from which you came? But Abraham said to him, Be sure that you do not take my son back there. Yahweh, the creator of heaven, who took me from my father's house and from the land of my kindred, and who spoke to me and vowed to me, saying, To your descendants I give this land. He will send his Moloch before you, and you shall take a wife for my son from there. But if the woman is not willing to follow you, then you will be released from this oath. Only do not take my son back there. So the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham his owner, and vowed to him concerning this matter. Then the servant took ten of Abraham's camels and left, taking with him all kinds of beautiful things by Abraham's hand. He set out for Aram Naharim, that is, northwest Mesopotamia, and made his way to the city of Nahor. And he made his camels kneel down outside the city by a well of water at evening time, the time when women go out to draw water. Then he prayed, Yahweh, father of my owner Abraham, please give me success this day and show kindness to my owner Abraham. Behold, I am standing by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city are coming out to draw water. Now let it be that the young woman, to whom I say, Let down your jar so I may drink, and she says, Drink, and I will also give your camels water. Let her be the one whom you have chosen for your servant Isaac. And by this I will know that you have shown kindness to my owner. Before he had finished praying, behold, Rebekah, who was born to Bethul, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, came out with her jar on her shoulder. Now the girl was very beautiful to look upon, a virgin. No man had known her. And she went down to the well, filled her jar, and came up. And the servant hurried to meet her and said, Give me a little water from your jar. So she said, Drink, ruler. Then she hastened and let her jar down to her hand and gave him a drink. And when she had finished giving him a drink, she said, I will draw water for your camels also until they have finished drinking. Then she hurried and emptied her jar into the trough, ran back to the well to draw water, and drew for all his camels. And the man, watching her, remained silent so as to know whether Yahweh had made his journey successful or not. So it was, when the camels had finished drinking, that the man took a golden nose ring, weighing a becca, that is, one-fifth ounce, and two bracelets for her wrists, weighing ten shekels, that is, about four ounces of gold, and said, Whose daughter are you? Tell me, is there room in your father's house for us to spend the night? So she said to him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, Milcah's son, whom she bore to Nahor. And she said to him also, We have both straw and feed enough, and room to spend the night. Then the man bowed down his head, and worshipped Yahweh, and he said, Praised be Yahweh, father of my owner Abraham, who has not abandoned his kindness and faithfulness to my owner. On the journey Yahweh has led me to the very house of my owner's kindred. So the young woman ran, and told her mother's household these things. Now Rebekah had a brother whose name was Laban, and Laban ran out to the man by the well. As soon as he saw the nose ring and the bracelet on his sister's wrists, and when he heard the words of his sister Rebekah saying, Thus the man spoke to me, then he went to the man, and there he stood by the camels at the well, and he said, Come in, O blessed of Yahweh. Why do you stand outside? For I have prepared the house and a place for the camels. Then the man came to the house. And he unloaded the camels, and provided straw and feed for the camels, and water to wash his feet, and the feet of the men with him. And food was set before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat until I have told about my purpose. And he said, Speak on. So he said, I am Abraham's servant. Now Yahweh has greatly blessed my owner, and he has become wealthy, and he has given him flocks and herds, silver and gold, male and female servants, and camels and donkeys. And Sarah, my owner's wife, bore a son to my owner when she was old. And to him he has given all that he has. Now my owner made me vow, saying, You shall not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites in whose land I dwell. But you shall go to my father's house and to my kindred and take a wife for my son. And I said to my owner, What if the woman will not follow me? But he said to me, Yahweh, whom I walk before, will send his Moloch to be with you, and your journey will be successful. 
and you shall take a wife for my son, from my kindred, and from my father's house. You will be clear from this oath when you arrive among my kindred. For if they will not give her to you, then you will be released from my oath. And this day I came to the well and prayed, Yahweh, father of my owner Abraham, if only you will now grant success in my journey which I have come. Behold, I stand by the well of water, and now may it be that when the maiden comes out to draw water, and I say to her, Give me a little water from your jar to drink, and she says to me, Drink, and I will draw for your camels also, may she be the woman whom Yahweh has chosen for my owner's son. But before I had finished praying in my heart, there was Rebekah coming out with her jar on her shoulder, and she went down to the well and drew water. And I said to her, Let me drink. And she made haste and lowered her jar down from her shoulder and said, Drink, and I will water your camels also. So I drank, and she watered the camels also. Then I asked her and said, Whose daughter are you? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, Nahor's son, whom Milcah bore to him. So I put the nose ring on her nose and the bracelet on her wrist. And I bowed my head and worshipped Yahweh and praised Yahweh, father of my owner Abraham, who had led me on the right road to take the granddaughter of my owner's brother for his son. Now, if you will show kindness and faithfulness to my owner, tell me. And if not, tell me, so I may turn to the right or to the left. Then Laban and Bethuel answered and said, The thing comes from Yahweh. We cannot speak to you either evil or well. Here is Rebekah before you. Take her and go, and let her be your owner's son's wife, as Yahweh has directed. And it came to pass, when Abraham's servant heard these words, that he bowed down to the ground to Yahweh. Then the servant brought out jewelry of silver, jewelry of gold, and clothing, and gave these to Rebekah. He also gave costly things to her brother and to her mother. And he and the men with him ate and drank and stayed all night. Then they arose in the morning and he said, Send me away to my owner. But her brother and her mother said, Let the young woman stay with us a few days more, about ten. Then she may go. But he said to them, Do not detain me. Since Yahweh has made my journey successful, send me away so that I may go to my owner. So they said, We will call the young woman and ask her personally. Then they called Rebekah and said to her, Will you go with this man? And she said, I will go. So they sent away Rebekah their sister and her nurse, and Abraham's servant and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said to her, Our sister, may you increase to become the mother of thousands of ten thousands, and may your descendants possess the gates of those who hate them. Then Rebekah and her maids arose, and they mounted on the camels and followed the man. So the servant took Rebekah and left there. Now Isaac came from the way of Beer Lahai Roy, for he lived in the Negev. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field in the evening. And he lifted his eyes and looked, and there the camels were coming. Then Rebekah lifted her eyes. And when she saw Isaac, she dismounted from her camel, for she had said to the servant, Who is this man walking in the field to meet us? And the servant said, It is my owner. So she took a veil, and she covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all the things that he had done. Then Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent, and he took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. So Isaac was comforted after his mother's death.